Right then, Q7 video. This is a customer's, so this one's the 4.2 V8 TDI BTR engine code, which I think sort of this sort of era, that's all they got. Not sure there are any others. The later ones, it changed, stuff like that. This is James from Express Air Conditioning. He supplied us some air conditioning machines and uh, we've been conversing for a while. We're talking about <coughs> some V12 stuff. He's had a few bits from that, his sunroof were broken and stuff like that, so he took some bits off ours. Um, and then in conversing about all that stuff, he just said he'd love to drop his car off and just let us just go to town on it and see what we can do. So the first part of this gonna be a little bit different because it's the this is the last day that I'm working before Christmas, Christmas Eve tomorrow. Hardly anybody's in. So basically, I'm gonna pretend I know how to tune cars again. So yeah, I've had a file, file or two left for me that hopefully should take us to where we need to be. And um, yeah, we're hoping that it does decent power as it is. And then we're gonna put our tune on. These are 326 standard, about 650 pounds of torque, something like that. Um, we're hoping we can probably take it to 380s and more torque. Um, I think I've just got my numbers wrong there. About 560 foot pounds of torque. I can't remember anyway. Um, <clears throat> so I can't do anything off a script. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll run it as it is. I'm just going to go for a run on the road, make sure it's all all right, because it's literally just been parked from the front to the back when I went here yesterday. Go out and it, make sure it's all right. Get it on the dyno, run it as it is. It's got a remap on here, which is from one of the absolute garbage companies that we always hear loads of stuff about. But we shall see. Don't want to get into the slagging match. We'll see what power it does. It might be all right because these are pretty, they're pretty old engine now, so a lot of good files floating around from all the random places. I'm sure you'll you'll drop on one on an eBay CD that you can buy or whatever. But we'll see how that works see how our file works if it don't quite go to plan i might have to speak to the tuners while they're getting ready for christmas dinner um, but if not we'll uh, we'll be getting this out out into the workshop and there's a rear main seal that's leaking which is an engine out job so while the engine's out it's going to get some big turbos big fuel pump injectors all that sort of stuff so we'll look at that later on the first part of this video is going to be just seeing if it's actually healthy and makes the power, so we shall see. So, first job when you're tuning a car, fault scan it. If it's an automatic gearbox, you always want to fault scan gearbox on engine. Straight away, I've got a glow plug fault, cylinder four. So, if we're messing about with that deep in, we'll probably just change them all. It's not come back up, but I think this wants a battery as well. So, I'm going to make a note of that on the job card because that will give us some hassle when you're flashing. Battery, low plugs. So, I'm going to take the gearbox now. No faults in gearbox, which is good. Go back into engine now. We're having two banks of cylinders, two ECUs. You've got to look in both engines. So now, I've got to decide. We're in drivetrain. I can log engine other, which does mean I can log both engines at the same time. I need to turn that radio off. God, it's taking forever. I'm not responding. It's worked. Oh, it's so slow. So, when you're doing this, you can only log one thing at once. So, first job. Math sensors. I'm aborting this, it's not working. So it's done individually. 11, 3, 1. 
I'm logging boost pressure, MAF sensor, and the rail pressure stuff. Turbo, it's having a good sample rate. Log it start. Somewhere rattling underneath. I'll log this side of the engine first, and then I'll log the other side in a minute. So the last one of these that we add in, it all seemed fine on the initial road test. And we'll put it on the dyno, we're down a bit on power. So we had a look. And for some reason, the uh, somebody dropped a 10mm socket into the air filter in the inlet pipe. And it was just sat there, just the turbo just slowly eating away at it. So that went good. So these are quite a practical car. Tons of options available, which James owns this likes retrofitting stuff. So I think he was a bit gutted when he realised our V12 were a bit more poverty spec than, uh, than most. I don't think many options have been ticked. Seems to drive all right. Yeah, but it feels pretty smooth. It's got plenty of power, I'm only tickling it there, so it's definitely got the usual where it probably half throttles everything. Oh, is it? Audi's temperature adjustment. What's wrong with a big knob for everything? Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that last bit of throttle does absolutely nothing. Absolutely hate that. Makes you feel like you've got a fast car, but only if you don't put your foot flat down. So how we generally uh, do our testing, when it's up to temperature, I'll probably lock it into a gear to start with, get a nice pull, probably looking at revs, third gear. And then do another pull in auto. That was strange. Gratalog EGTs on this as well to that cut before I'd even got to the top of third gear. Like a massive cut. Very strange. Nice GTR. I can't find what I want. They're not all labelled up these. There's some temperatures that look plausible, but we'll figure that out later. There's definitely a cut going on here, but my gosh, where did all this traffic come from? That bloke's hair looked painted on. Started halfway on his head, it looked like a microphone. It's a bit weird. So I'll log the other engine. This is 
an hardware problem that's not manifesting itself at the minute, which I doubt. It's just a crap tune. The only thing worse than a crap tune is a tuning box. Oh my god. I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So, this is how terrible this tune is. Max 2601, Max 2601, so specified natural. So it's running a lot of boost, not sure exactly what. But it's completely maxing out the diagnostics value, so whoever's tuned this doesn't know how to calibrate that. But I'm 100% sure if I put duty cycle on. It's not got the duty cycle of the actuator on there. But 100% swinging about all over the place. Yeah, look at that. That's a full throttle pull. The injection quantity is dropping from 75, which is another thing, that's going to 56. Then it's going up to 75, then it's dropping to 52. So yeah, we've sat on a limiter of some description. Let's see. Look at the torque limiters. That's specified. And then left tool. So yeah, it's just sat pulling it all the time. So it's sat on a torque limiter. You can see the injection quantity is dropping as the torque's dropping, and that the red one is my foot wedged. There's no else to glean from these logs. A bit crap, to be fair. But yeah, crap tune. See if it doesn't die now. Turbo to spool that time. So I think I've done another couple of runs to be sure of my methodologies. I think we'll uh, flash a stock file on and we should be 320s or so with that. So we'll see. So a fair bit of time to pass since you watched me strapping this on. I had a bit of a nightmare. Brick one of the ECUs despite Scott telling me I would and I said I wouldn't. But it turns out that the tool I was using would have never flashed this anyway, even though it ID'd it fine and they said it had written it fine. But anyway, that's part of tuning, but the video was very long, very boring, and we didn't record Matisse coming back from Belgium and fixing it. So, still on the dyno, it's been on for too long, but Matisse has finally got the runs in, so we'll put the video of the runs in either before or after. I don't know. Maybe this will get cut out. I don't know. But anyway, this is what we've ended up with. So, as it came in, I think I'll move that around because it makes more sense. But as it came in, it got 371 horsepower with an absolutely terrible tune that I described on the road test, which it did more torque than uh, what we've got here, like 730 pounds feet of torque. But as we'll see in a second, when I uh, look at the AFR, and obviously, as I described when we're driving it, it absolutely smoked like crazy when you put your foot down, which is, in my opinion, in a car like this, you don't want to be reeking out the back. So, not ideal. So, it, it went all right when it was smooth, but it very rarely was smooth. And as you can see at the top end here, we've got 371 horsepower here, and then it just starts dropping away, which is this is basically just an EGT limiter, which is what I said when I was driving it, you could feel it cutting. Um, one thing it's not showed up on the dyno as good as I thought it would as the boost spiking and dipping and what have you, but I think that's just because it's a bit more controlled um, on the dyno than it is on the road. So 
Then we flash it back to stock. This should be like 320 horsepower and it's done 332 and 550 pounds of torque. A little bit sort of up and down, but this has already got the DPF sold out, I believe. So that's why it's doing a little bit more in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't always, but these are quite a small DPF for how big the engine is. Um, and then we are tuned on there, which this is sort of, it's not a generic tune, but this is just basically copied away from another one and they're all very similar and it's done 400 and 700 pounds of torque. So absolutely perfect. This is what we'd be trying to send them out with. It might need a little bit of refinement. Boost control were perfect. Um, and then if we have a look at the smoke that it, they're kicking out, we could have probably smoothed that a little bit. Uh, uh, so as you can see, the pink one, the lower, the lower this, the smokier it is basically. So you can see the pink one's just lower all the time, which I think these values are a little bit to be ignored. The sensor seems to be uh, causing, that, causing a bit of hassle, but 16 to one, ridiculous. And then you can see when the EGT starts cutting, it's pulling fuel and adding fuel. And then you can see ours is pretty flat. This little dip here, I'd like to probably smooth that out. And then we've sort of pulled torque back quite aggressively at the sort of after 4,000 RPM, I think up to 4,400 before it changes gear, we could still leave a little bit more in there. So that, that's the refinement we'd do if this were going out like that. But it's getting the engine out and getting a lot of issues fixed. So we'll get it back into the workshop. I'm not sure how much. I think this will probably be the end of this video um, because the next part of the video is going to be ripping the engine out and doing all the other stuff. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this. This was just a standard tune, but it's going to lead up to a lot more, so keep watching.